guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I hope you're doing fabulous today. Um, we are back with you with another Ipsy versus Ipsy, which is of course one of the new favorited segments where we take my mother's Ipsy and my own Ipsy and we compare the two and see which one was better, which one I like more, and then I assemble my ideal five piece little bag at the end based on what the two of us got. That being said, this is the plus edition where we take the bigger box, which is, um, this is a $25 box, is that correct? Yes, so this is $25 on, you can do it separately or you can do it on top of your bag. We have it on top of our bag, so we get both. This is the more expensive one. I do wanna go ahead and jump in really quick before we start this video. A lot of you guys really responded well to the Black Friday video with the Black Friday bag. We got a ton of subscribers off that, so awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining the family. We're glad you're here. Um, that video was very negative. I wanted to kind of fill you in on what happened after the, the behind the scenes after the fact. I did comment on that post and kind of give you a rundown of it, but basically I emailed them about the broken product and as I expected, they did not have any more to replace it with, so they gave me a $3 refund. That was it. They gave me a $3 refund for the broken product. No, sorry, no, here's some, you know, little points. You can get an extra product next month. No, can we replace it with something? Just, we're just gonna give you a $3 refund. So personally, I felt like that was a horrible way to handle it. They gave me no options. They gave me no sense of apology. They gave me no sense of like, hey, we're gonna try and fix this and make it better. It was just like, here's three bucks. And I was like, okay. Now that being said, with how many people like that video and how well it's doing, whatever, it was well worth the money that we paid for it. We're very happy that we chose to review it because it brought a lot of you wonderful people to us and we're very thankful for that. But I'm very annoyed with the whole situation and it is not the first time Ipsy's done this. Uh, to make a long story short, last year, my mother ordered an add-on, which was a three-piece hair set. Came with a full-size shampoo, conditioner, and then a conditioning mask for the hair. She was given, she was shipped a giant box and it was just rattling around. She opens it up, there's no bubble wrap or anything in there. There's two bottles in there, not three. And she's basically like, I didn't get my shampoo. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, we'll send you another one. And then they emailed her back and they're like, oh, we don't have any more to send you. Sorry, here's an $8 refund. Same thing, no, hey, that was our bad. Here's, you know, a free product. Hey, we're gonna refund you for the whole thing. Keep the conditioners for, our, for the inconvenience, whatever, none of that. And the worst part was if she had not emailed them, they were perfectly fine with just sending her part of what she ordered with no explanation, no email, no reason as to why she didn't have her shampoo, nothing. So overall, Ipsy's customer service, I think is incredibly lacking and they need to fix that really quick because I've been happy with the, the way they've changed the bags, the way they've changed the boxes. I've actually been liking it more than I've been liking BoxyCharm recently, but if they keep playing games like that, you will lose people so fast because mom already, mom almost left over that last year. I was about ready to be done with them anyway at that point. And then they've kind of revitalized themselves. But after this whole thing, I'm feeling the same way that I did because clearly they've not changed enough to fix the issues they've had before. So that's just my little salt tea spilling, whatever you want to call it at the beginning of this video. I don't want it to like, I don't have any like harbored resentment towards these boxes because these are completely new things. So hopefully we don't have any issues with these, but I did wanna go ahead and give you guys an update on it since that is what led a lot of you to our page. That being said, now that I've rambled a whole bunch, we're going to jump into the box. As you guys know, I always start with my Muta's box, which is this one right here. And uh, we were actually waiting on hers. Mine came a couple days ago and then hers showed up today and we're like, all right, let's do this. She hasn't opened it yet. She was like, just take it upstairs and open it and let me know how it is. And I was like, all right. Now, uh, if you've watched the uh, Glam Bag Pluses in the past couple episodes, you'll notice that most of our boxes are almost identical. So let's see if that trend continues for this one. I don't know what the brand, the, um, I don't know anything about this one actually. I don't know what, like, what the theme is. I don't know what the bag looks like. I don't know any of it. I think it's uh, Shine On is what it's looking like for me, Shine On. The first thing that I see is she has an Illima Squad which I think, didn't we get an Ilma Squaw from them last year? Or last last year? Last month it was like a primer, right? This is a black eyeliner. It is a good size eyeliner with a nice like felt tip. And I won't play with it because this is my mom so I don't want to like mess it up for her. But um, I will say I feel like we've gotten a lot of eyeliners from them this year. A lot of eyeliners from them and from the boxy charm. But you know, just a lot, whatever. Next thing we have is an, oh my God, why do they pick brands that I don't know how to pronounce? Evolu? I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, little accent marks on top of everything. I'm assuming it's French. It is a hydrating serum. It is apply after cleansing and toning, can be used twice a day. Keep refrigerated for best results. 
interesting. Yeah, so it's kind of a smaller bottle. I don't know anything about the brand or what it is, but I mean, hydrating serums, like I said, are never a bad thing, especially during the winter season because um, my skin is always breaking. So I think my mom will like that, but I don't honestly know. Uh, the next one we have is 111 Skin Harley Street London, a cryo activating hydro gel. I don't know what any of this stuff is, if I'll be honest, but it is a good size jar. Holy crap, it's a really nice size jar. It's very weighted, nice and heavy. I would predict just knowing how skincare products normally retail, this is probably a more expensive one. It smells nice. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And it says apply in a small circular motion after uh, night cleansing and toning. So you put it on before you go to bed at night. Basically it is supposed to just refine your skin texture and re-energize your complexion, which I think that's a nice thing to have. I think my mom's gonna really like that because she's always looking for things like that that will kind of give her her nice youthful glow and all that um, that she's you know trying to preserve as she does get a, a little bit older. So, so that's a nice uh, product in my opinion. I don't know anything about the brand, but just based on reading it, like I said, I would predict that it's probably going to be an expensive product. The next thing we have is a little build your own palette. If this is, I swear, no, no cap. If this is a Z palette where you just have like a magnetic palette that is empty with no colors in it, I'm going to lose my mind. I don't know if that's what it is, but as I'm reading it, I'm like, I'm, I wonder if this is what this is. Okay. Okay. I was about to say bro. It is not that. It's kind of wild though. I don't know what, I don't know how to, what? Kind of wild. I think it pops out. Yo, what? Yo, what? I just completely disassembled this palette. So it is a Z palette, yes. But it does have at least four shades in there. Because I was going to be like, if they just sent me an empty, or it's my mom's, but if they just sent an empty Z palette, I'm going to be like, what is going on? It is not. It does come with like a couple of nice little neutral shades. There's like a kind of a pewter and then like nice little workable shades. I think my mom will probably be able to use them. Kind of wild. Like, I don't know what to say about this. This is kind of crazy. I feel like they kind of phoned it in on that one though. Like they could have tried harder, but... Maybe it's because I, maybe low key, like subconsciously, I'm still bitter over what happened with them, <laughs> with my broken turmeric product and I'll just never like let, let it go ever because I haven't seen Frozen 2 yet, so I won't ever let it go. The next thing, the final thing in this box is a press and set bronzer. This is a two in one brush that is, oh, so it's a brush. Oh, mom's gonna be thrilled. If you guys uh, have not watched our Ipsies before, mom does not like getting brushes because she gets them literally every month in every box. It is very accurate. I wish it weren't, but it's a nice brush. I would not, they're calling this a bronzing brush. I don't think I would use that for that. I probably would use it for a setting powder just because of how big it is. Why is it, why, do you see that? Do you see the dust coming off of it? I can see it in the lights, crazy. But it is a really pretty brush. I like the gold. I like the little pewter colored uh, handle. And uh, yeah, it's got a nice big fluffy brush head. And then uh, it's got the nice little protective case for it as well. So, oh, and this is the bag, I'm sorry. This is the little bag that comes with it. Nice little just kind of basic silver bag. Honestly, one of my least favorite bags that I've seen this year, but it's not ugly, it's just very basic. Which is kind of what I feel like this whole box is. This is just very basic. I'm hoping mine's better, but I'm assuming it's probably gonna be almost identical because of what the past couple months have been, so. Okay, so I did put my mom's box away. We're gonna jump into mine in just a minute, but I did want to really quickly pull out the retail value card. Okay, <laughs> so me being now a professional subscription box person who knows like how the retail value of things and how that normally goes. Uh, 111 Skin Cryo Activating Hydrogel. Take a, gan can't take a guess, take a little guessy roo at what that retail value is. The last one was 200, so by that argument, that thing, that thing should be like $6,000 by how much is in there, but. No, it's 200. Oh, okay. It's also 200, yes. The Van Ness Eyeshadow Quad is $60? Are you kidding me? That is bull. I'm sorry. That is so, yeah, yeah. You can go to, you can, let me tell you, you can go to Ulta and find a Z palette that is empty so you don't get the four shades that they were nice enough to give you for $9. So do not pay $60 for that. I don't care how cute it is. It was a cute little leather looking book. It ain't worth it. Anyway, anyway. Then we've got the other skincare hydrating serum is $68 in retail value. The uh, eyeliner is 22 and the brush is 35. Truthfully, I think everything on this list was incredibly overpriced, but by this list, it is a $385 value, which is more than what they promise in the box. So by promises, then yeah. Do I think it's worth that? No, no I don't, but whatever. Moving along to my box. Let's see, oh God, okay, mine's, mine was thick. Mine was like thick with three C's. 
And uh, that's because I'm seeing some things at the top here. It looks like, okay, I actually like this. I'm not gonna lie. I got four of these I Feel Brilliant Bamboo Charcoal Facial Sheet Masks. I love me some sheet masks. I am not gonna lie. I am a big fan of this. Uh, I like charcoal. I talked about that in my Boxy Charm unboxing this, this month. And uh, yeah, so I think that's a nice little one. I doubt the retail value is very high on that. In my opinion, I'm that's that's four face masks right there that I'm uh, pretty happy with getting. And then I got a good full size Tarte Stay Spray, which I always am looking for a great setting spray and I love Tarte. So this is a nice big size of it. I have the mini version of it that I've gotten like in samples and stuff like that and I really like it. So that is another nice product. I can already tell you just based on looking at what's in here, my retail value of my box is probably going to be like 50% of what my mom's is worth, but uh, I think that I like mine better. I did get the same big brush as she did. So that same um, nice little, um, what I'll probably use it as a, um, a setting brush. And then I got the same, this one, the, the one that I can't pronounce the, oh wait, mine may be different. Mine is a super oil. So I don't know what that means. Is that like what happened in, with the BP oil spill? It went in the ocean and it became super oil and it killed our ecosystem. Thanks, BP. We haven't forgotten. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I got a super oil, so. And then I got the same palette. Not often am I disappointed with getting a palette. I'm just gonna say that. I'm disappointed with getting this palette. I would have much rather had that expensive friggin' face cream than this stupid thing. But you know, I'm not gonna, okay. Being overly critical, yes. But this is, it is a pretty palette. It is, it looks kind of like, like a passport book. You open it up. You got these basic ass shades in there. And then I got the same bag. I'm disappointed with this month, I'm not gonna lie. My box is definitely better than my mom's. I'll do the retail value and then I'll assemble my perfect box. We've got the $60 eyeshadow palette, whatever. We have the $68 super oil. We have the $25 setting spray, the $35 brush, and then the sheet masks are also $35. So yeah, mine is significantly less expensive, I'm sure. So yeah, $223, so mine is like $150 less in retail value. That being said, if I had to assemble my perfect box, I would choose the sheet masks, the Tarte spray, $200 face cream from my mom's box, the, I guess this guy, cause we both got him. And then I think I'd actually choose the brush over the palette cause the palette kind of sucks. The, for whatever reason, this palette's like really offending me as a person. And I don't know why it's done that. Um, but I think it's just because I know I can go buy a Z palette for like I said, $9 and they're gonna say that it's worth $60. Like it's some sort of like gift and it's not. I was bitter as hell during this, this unboxing. I don't know if it's like residual from the broken turmeric thing. It might be, I don't know. I, I didn't think I was that petty, but I am pretty petty. So maybe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the page yet, please do so because uh, I'm just getting sassy all of a sudden. I just, I don't know what's happening, but I'm like, digging into things. I've just been a day of like venting. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And as always, stay girly with a dark twist.